Sfat Emet says like this. We know the Gemara in Yuma says in Pei Vav that the Yorim Avera, bad thoughts. A person, if he has bad thoughts of, uh, of uh, Znut or not to watch his eyes or do Averot, a Kashim Me'etzma Avera. It could very much be that they're worse than the actual action of the Avera. Why? Because the brain of a person, right, it's the same brain that he connects to Hashem with. It's the main engine. It's the main tool that we connect to God. So if we mess up the main tool, we're in big trouble. It's the holiest tool that we have. Like the Chachamim tell us, like, let's say you have like a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful barrel of wine, made out of gold, with wine that's inside that's worth so much money. And everybody waits online with their cup, with the glass cup to get wine. But then, that little thing that you pour the, what's it called? The thing that you pour the wine out of. The berez, in Hebrew they call it berez, in Hebrew, I don't know what they call it, the false, okay. Imagine the false is really dirty. It has some really bad stuff there that you don't want drinking in your cup. I don't care how beautiful the barrel is, how expensive the wine is. If the berez is dirty, and every time you pour out the wine, I'm going to have dirty wine, I don't want the wine. Says the Chachamim, a person is beautiful. He's made of gold. The Shema is pure. It's, there's nothing like it. Everything is perfect. But if his machshava is full of averot, is full of bad thoughts, then all the tefillah, all the Torah that he does, is just, it's full of dirt. It's always going to come with sitra acha and bad things. It's not going to be pure. It's a big problem. A person has to make sure his thoughts are clear. How does a person make sure his thoughts are clear? So the Rambam tells us. The Rambam says, The Rambam says, the only way a person can control his thoughts. You know how? When his mind is occupied with Torah and mitzvot, then there's no room for the Yetzirah to get in the first place. But the Rambam is telling us, the way you beat the Yetzirah is not telling him, I'm going to beat you. The way you beat the Yetzirah is by telling him, I don't have time for you. That's what you tell the Yetzirah, my mind is busy. My mind is full of Torah, I don't have time for your nonsense right now. I got to learn, I got mitzvot to do, I got to take care of my kids, I got to bring food to the table. That's how you beat the Yetzirah. Your mind is to be occupied with Torah. So says the Sfat Emet, when a person has in mind to, do to, to learn Torah, he has in mind to go to that class, but the Yetzirah for some reason got him, it couldn't happen at the end. Or a person wants to do a certain mitzvah, he wants to open up an organization, but it never happened at the end. He wants to arrange a certain event, but it never happened. What does the Gemara tell us in Kiddushin Daf Mem? Metzaref HaKadosh Baruch Machshava Tova Lemaaseh. Hashem takes that Machshava and He makes it as if it happened. So says the Sfat Emet, so too, Hirurim Shel Mitzvah. When a person always constantly thinks, how can I be Mezakeh the Rabbi more? How can I make other Jews religious? How can I save another Jew? How can I learn more Torah? How can I make more events? How can I open more organizations? How can I help other Jews? Just those thoughts before it happened are even bigger than the actual Mitzvah when it happens. Do you know how much of a Chidush that is? Do you know how much Chizuk it gives to people to go run after the Torah? It shows how much Hashem loves us. We always say Hashem loves us. How do we know Hashem loves us? No matter what, we're never going to realize how much Hashem loves us. Because love is beyond human beings. But one of the examples that we can understand a little bit is this. The fact that Hashem can take just our thoughts of doing good and He makes it a ma'aseh that shows how much He wants us to do good. He's waiting for us to do too good. He's not trying to get us, He's trying to help us. He's not trying to put us down, He's trying to elevate us. Hashem wants us to come to Him. It's there, He's waiting. We just have to jump into his arms. Ad Hashem go for it. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.